Hi. I'm in Universe Sandbox 2 right now. And for the simulation I'm about to do, in light of the recent uh, hypothesis on Planet X actually being a black hole, you know, we call it Planet 9, but either or, it works. So, basically, the hypothesis goes that this is a primordial black hole that is about 150 billion kilometers away from the sun, which is about 1,000 astronomical units. And for the non-scientific people, an astronomical unit is the diff difference, distance between the Earth and the sun. So, what we're going to do in this simulation is we're going to place a black hole that distance away from the sun and see if anything changes. So this black hole is said to be between 5 and 15 times the mass of Earth. And, in all honesty, it really shouldn't do much. So... This black hole we have here is one times the mass of the sun, so it's just, you know, the same mass as the sun is. Okay, we're gonna go out here. And that's about 134 astronomical units. Just about there. Alrighty. Now that we're here. Got the black hole mass of the sun. We pause the simulation so we can edit the traits without it causing mayhem. And what we're gonna do here. make it so it's five times the mass of Earth. And since we have the object settings set to orbit, it'll automatically orbit around the sun. We don't have to enact any forces on it. Glory this simulation. <clears throat> All right. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna rename this to Planet X. And now we'll check back on the solar system and see how this black hole is affecting it. Now you notice it's pretty far away, so nothing really should be harming anything here. Okay, we got the sun. Everything's looking normal so far. I'm gonna speed up the time, about three years per second. Slowly dragging along there. That's to be expected because of how far away it is. It's got a long orbit to make. And things look normal. All honesty. Yeah. So you notice that uh, the sun is slightly moving. You can see its trail. That's not really... Well, I mean, the black hole is kind of acting on it, but... If we're to assume the black hole's not there, we'll still move around. Because the gravity of all the planets act on it as well. So, the sun's pull is a lot stronger, but the gravity still enacts on it. And what we'll do here is we're going to make it to 15 times the mass of Earth, because that's supposedly its max gravitational, well, its max mass. So we'll see how that affects the gravitational pull of the sun here. And, you know, everything still looks just as normal. Nothing's really changing. And it's really interesting to think about the fact that, you know, you have this object that in a lot of sci-fi ideas, they just are these 
space tornadoes that suck everything in, but that's not really true. They're really just normal objects that have been compressed so far to the point where they're at their smallest possible density and their gravity is now really strong because of it. So that's why they're black, it's because no f light can reflect off of them. Because it sucks light in too, that's why you see the light bending around it. Unlike all these other objects here. And again, the sun is still kind of moving. That's okay. You know, that's, that's what it normally does. That's what it's actually doing right now. Though it may not look like it, that's why it's so minuscule. Let's find the uh, black hole. There it is. Yeah, and you notice how like the orbit's not really changing all that much. The you know, orbit's staying just about the same. We're gonna go <clears throat> speeding this up. Six years a second should do. No, oh, that's the max my computer will allow it. <laughs> Lucky me. Okay, we're going to scroll out here and look at the orbit trail. Now you notice how it's kind of wiggling. Again, how, how I said earlier, the sun uh, is slightly moving because of the planets pulling on it. Well, when the sun moves, the orbits of all the planets slightly adjust just like this. But then it, it's not really that big of a deal because with how immense space is, the slight little wiggle is actually like tiny. Now we're gonna open up uh, the solar system simulation that the developers preset, where they actually use the Planet 9 object that they created themselves. And it's not a black hole, it's actually, you know, the planet, which is part of the original hypothesis. They said there's a good chance of spawning in the next five years. But, if uh, we can't really spot it, I mean, the black hole theory is not that unplausible. So, you, you notice how it's ten times the mass of Earth. So, it's like right between, it's right in the middle there. And it's only 280 astronomical units away from the sun. Which, you know... That's proportionate to this black hole, which is so far away, yet its gravity still is strong enough to make it orbit around the sun. I can probably guarantee that if this planet was 150 billion kilometers away from the sun... I mean, it's hard to simulate, because it's probably set on a... Again, with... Placing objects in this simulator, it immediately sets it in orbit unless you tell it otherwise. But yeah, even with this plane in 9, the orbits are still just fine, you know. Earth's still okay, no danger for us. And I think they started to theorize that it's a black hole because of the fact that the way light is going around the... The way light's going around the outside of the universe, not the universe, the solar system, universe, then you could see like slight bends in it, which might signify a black hole, but I didn't really understand the wording in some of the articles I read about it. Nonetheless, it's still a very interesting concept, because if there is a black hole that close, yeah, 150 billion kilometers sounds really far, but the universe is infinite, so that's really, really close to us. We could send, like, maybe a... Maybe, like, a Voyager 3 to go around orbiting this thing, and we could actually get some insight, like, actual insight, not simulation, like, a real black hole. We could study it. We can learn some stuff about it. And maybe we can just nosedive the Voyager into there and see what happens when you enter a black hole. Now, just to end this video off with a little bit of fun, I'm gonna come out of here.
take a black hole 10 million times the mass of the sun. <laughs> Gonna bring it all the way out to the same distance that we put the Planet X black hole. Alright. We'll uh, speed up time. Watch it just go off. Right there. Uh, they're all spreading out because they're, they're missing the black hole, but, you know. Alright, thanks for watching.